welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we're going to winterize the boat. So a uh, number of steps involved when you're winterizing a boat, especially in uh, for harsh winters. Uh, we're going to cover a couple of them today. We don't have a lot of time, so we'll definitely make sure we cover the antifreeze portion. Make sure that we keep it uh, safe and don't have any freeze issues over the winter and stabilize the fuel. Let's go. One of the first things you're going to need is a muzzle. This is going to make sure that when we're running the boat out of the water that the, uh, the drive still allows water to be pulled into the motor to keep it cool. And so it will go on just like that. And then the end of this hose will connect to your water line. So we're going to run it for a little bit, see how much fuel we have, put some fuel stabilizer in, which we got this stuff right here. I know I had about half a tank, maybe a little less. Um, it's a 136 liter tank, so we'll get the engine warmed up. We'll see what the levels are at, and then we'll determine how much of this we got to put in. All right, one tip for you here, if you notice the muzzle, I've attached a quick connector to it. It's just going to make it easier when you see some of the other steps involved, uh, especially when we want to draw uh, coolant into the system. Put that back on there. I have a short hose here, very handy. We're going to put it to use. Um, but before I use any of this, I am going to hook up the garden hose because like I said, I wanted to run the system and get it up to temperature. And then when you go to change the oil in here, you're gonna want to set your trim so it's level. And that's uh, air vent there, and the drain is down on the other side of here. And you drain all that oil, and then you can uh, top it up. That way you're not carrying any moisture that might already be in there through the winter that could freeze. Run our blower, make sure the fumes are cleared out. Turn our key. estimate how much stabilizer to put in. All right, we got our fuel stabilizer product here. This is the marine version by Stable. Instructions say that 30 milliliters will treat 38 liters of fuel. That's bang on to what we need to treat today because I have a hair over a quarter of a tank and it's a 136 liter tank. So let's measure out 30 milliliters and dump it in. Let's take the cap off, grab our stabilizer, as you see, there's milliliters on this side, ounces for our imperial friends on this side. We have to take the cap off. Give it a squeeze. Get it up to 15. And dump it in. 
There we go. Measure out 50 more milliliters to get to our 30. Perfect. Dump that in. All right, we now have our treatment in. So the next time we run the motor, we'll be able to start cycling that through. And then hopefully we won't have any water issues. And this is the way I've done it for years and I've had three boats and uh, no issues. Everything looks good. We got proper oil pressure, trims mostly down. The boat is level, by the way, um, so I know where my fuel actually is. Voltage is good. Letting the temperature come up a little bit, make it easier for the oil change stage. All right, engine's all nice and warm. Now we'll show you how to run the coolant through where all the fresh water would run, run through. That way we make sure we have all those areas protected with antifreeze. So this end is going to go to our antifreeze jug and I'll show you what I've concocted to get this done. Alright, in order to get antifreeze in here, it needs to be gravity fed. So one way I figured out an easy way to achieve this, so I'll use the platform on the back of the boat or a table that's at least higher than uh, where your muzzle is will do. But I've made a custom lid that I can transfer from one jug to the next. And then all I do is tip the jug on its side, connect it, poke a hole somewhere in the jug so it can breathe, and uh, it'll start feeding through. Okay, we're up on our platform. I'm going to tip this over and then try not to trip and fall and get this boat started right away. Alright, now that the fuel stabilizer and antifreeze are done, and I'm still going to have to run it again with antifreeze and I'll tell you why. So, on some of the older versions of this engine and, and others, you can use fogging oil and just spray it right into the intake and it will help lubricate the pistons and make sure that they're good for storage over the winter. Um, but with this type of motor, it's recommended that you use an alternative fuel source that has uh, oil added to it in the right ratio and then run that through. Um, that way it doesn't mess up the injectors. So I don't have time today to show you that step, but I will show you the final parts uh, in regards to the antifreeze. So because this doesn't have an inboard cooling system, it's not a closed system, it 
pulls fresh water in from the lake or the ocean, you should drain uh, the water out. So we're gonna have to take this guy off. They're all labeled blue, which is really nice. We're gonna loosen this one off and I'll show you what that looks like. And then there's one more hidden down here at the bottom. So we'll have to make sure we get that too and I'll show you. Okay, so from the inside, right at the bottom here, we loosen this blue guy off. And you can see it's flowing pink. That's good, that means we got the system filled up. I take all of these out and I put them in a place where I won't forget to put them back in. Just set that there. And then we loosen this guy. Again, this could be hot, so be careful. I'm gonna go nice and slow so I don't get shot at. There we go. It's just letting the air flow out. And then we open this guy up. And we should open this tube at the bottom. And there we go. Open all the way up. So keep these uh, out where you'll see them in the spring. And keep that open. And you should be good. Disconnect your batteries and bring them in somewhere. So I'm going to disconnect mine uh, when I'm done the other steps in the next couple weeks. And I'll bring them in and uh, charge them intermittently and make sure they're kept up. One more detail we're going to tend to is these speakers. Um, they're hardwired in, no quick couplers. So instead of taking them down, I've been wrapping them with plastic wrap, sealing them up tight, and uh, they stay brand new over the winter. Sealed up nice and tight. Be perfect for next year. Thanks again for watching Dawn's Life. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. This is a new channel and I hope to keep feeding it with content, but I need your support. And just like that, this video is over.